And have you ever wondered what it's like to talk to millennials and understand their thought process? Did I hear a chuckle? <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to learn how. Some new language coming up. For those who are more, uh, we'll call it seasoned in life, talking to people in their 20s and 30s can be a challenge. So Tina has found an expert to help us bridge the communication divide with millennials. Are we ready to take some notes? Yes. yes. Tiffany Edgar is here. <laughs> you are the founder of Humanity Approach. First off, what is that? It is an organization that serves companies and individuals to become better leaders for okay. tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. First, and the millennials age what to what? Age 20 to 36. Oh, I have a daughter. Yes. Okay. All right. So is she I'm, in I'm that ready. age range? Yeah, she's 24 years old. Yes. So some of the mistakes we're making speaking to millennials. Some of the mistakes we're making is expecting too much initiative around non-tech activities. <laughs> okay. <So laughs> All right. This is the first generation that's been born and raised with technology, mm -hmm. and we had to provide them with participation trophies as kids <laughs> to show up to non-tech activities. I see. So if it's non-tech, it's non-relevant. Got it. Okay. Number two. The second mistake is not providing meaningful instruction. So this is a generation that prides themselves on living a life of purpose and meaning. And if you're not giving consistent, frequent, meaningful feedback and instruction, you'll lose them. Okay. And the third mistake. The third mistake is calling them on your cell phone. <laughs> because <laughs> it's not answer. received as timely <laughs> communication. <laughs> so you can text, you can tweet, you can Snapchat even. Oh my goodness. Just don't use this for voice communication. Okay, got it. Yes. All right, so these are some ways to relate to millennials age 20 to 35. Yes. And you have a great way of remembering this. Yes. Touch, T-O-U-C-H. Go yes. Ahead. T is physically touch them. It instigates human connection like that. Really? Oh, didn't you feel that? Yeah. All right. Okay, but I'm not a millennial. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's, okay. a, it's a human nature thing. Got it. Okay. Oh, observe. Really look at them. Make the eye contact. With device in hand, we've gotten away from eye contact. Right. And then you understand really try to understand where they're coming from what their perspective and position is see credit give credit where credit is due acknowledge their value and worth mm -hmm. and h be here be now be present and be in the moment when you're talking with them mm -hmm. don't be on your own device while you're trying to communicate with them i wonder how they feel when us seasoned people are on the phone have you ever asked them as far as on the phone call like we're on the phone or we're texting and oh. not paying attention to them how do they feel? How do millennials feel? That's a great question. I would venture to say that they probably feel that you're not paying attention to them. Well, I noticed that my daughter would be more patient. Yes. Be she would just wait. Yes, because they're, they're used to doing that with their friends. Right. Because, you know, you have never had to call and pick up the phone and say, hey, can Susie Smith come over and play? They would text and be like, hey. And you're married to a millennial. I am married to a millennial. Okay, so yes. how was his reaction versus your reaction? Because you're talking about when you're a parent, you, some of us like to do the helicopter approach, what were you telling me? The helicopter parenting. Where we're a little protective, yes. hovering over them. Yes. And that's how you are? Um, I actually am that way. Me too. And, and that's how the millennials have become the way they've become, um, with that uh, stereotypical term of entitlement and spoon-fed and those type okay. of derogatory comments that are made towards the, that generation. Um, but we try to keep them safe and keep them protected. And my husband, who is a millennial, actually s says, step back, let them be, let them get out there and uh, explore on their own. All right. Yeah. Good tips because you know what? Sometimes it could be a challenge, but I like that. Touch. Touch. <laughs> that's right. And look in the eye. There you go. Yes, that's right. Thank okay, you team. so much. Thank you. Back Thank to you. you. Good advice. We'll remember that.